So Nike, Adidas and Under Armour are complaining about too much spatting in college football. But what exactly does that mean? Who's spatting who? And what's the spat about? While talks on the issue may in fact be animated, that's not the kind of spat we mean. Football players perform a variety of lateral movements, almost all of which come with maximum force to the ankle joint. To prevent them from spraining, everything needs to be held tightly together. Spatting is a common practice to create additional ankle support. What looks almost like army boots is actually medical tape that's been wrapped around feet and ankles on top of cleats and socks. Now, when shoe companies sponsor college teams, they want their logos to be visible wherever they've put them. If an ankle is spatted, that may not be the case. The brands are so concerned about this that they've contractually bound the colleges not to spat excessively. If only five players have their ankles spatted, that can mean a reduction of the school's base compensation of up to 5%. According to research conducted by USA Today, that translates to a loss of tens of thousands of dollars per game. With escalation clauses applied, a school could lose up to half of its million dollar contract just for spatting violations. In the NFL, over half of the players have their ankles spatted on a regular basis, but for them, it's a personal decision, as every player deals with endorsements himself. Not so much in college, where players give up almost all of their rights to the school. So if the athletic department is worried about endorsement money, they might push for less players to get their ankles spatted. Hey! And that's why the spatting issue needs to be resolved, not only to protect the players' ankles, but also their individual rights.